Now your ice maker is of course right in here. You pull your tray out and your ice maker is right here. When taking that out, it's actually pretty simple. There's a tab at the front you'll have to push down on and you have to press that fairly hard and reach at the back and pull forward. In order to get this out the rest of the way, you have to undo this screw right here, pull this panel off, and behind that there's a connector. All right, this is the connector I was discussing. It'll be behind that panel in there. And this is the unit as it comes out of your, uh, your ice maker, comes out of the refrigerator. So in order to fix this, there's a fuse inside of that. Now this only works if your ice maker is not pushing ice out, but it has ice stuck in the tray. So you can find that out by taking your tray apart. All right, there's a little tab at the back you'll want to press. When you, that might just, sometimes a little harder to press than others. Maybe you have to use a screwdriver. Press that tab down, then your tray top will come off. Set that to the side. And if this has ice stuck in it, it's hard, and this is trying to, your uh, extractor is trying to push the ice to get it loose, it'll make that grinding kind of a humming noise, if you will. That's because it's stuck and it can't get the ice out. Now, underneath this panel, there is a heating element. So when your ice is stuck in your trays right here, when it freezes and the ice is in there freezing and it gets ready to extract the ice, underneath this panel, there is a heating element that melts the ice lightly so that it'll come out. Now to take this panel off, this kind of goes under these two and it lifts over this. So you just gotta put, pull it around it. It's not, a, it's not difficult. So this is the heating element in question. Uh, ours is dirty because it's many years old, but this heating element is what heats up your ice to melt it a little bit on the bottom so it'll come out. In order to get to your fuse, which is connecting to the heating element, which is going to be your problem if this has frozen ice that's stuck, you have a thermal fuse in there that connects to this particular area right here which I don't know if you can see it very well, but this right here is uh, used to determine the heat that's going on inside there. So let's pull the front off of this so you can get to the inner workings. So now to pull, to get to those, uh, to that fuse, you just need to take these screws right here. If you look down in here, there's there are two screws. There's one, and then underneath this, wire bundle there is a second one it's easier with a uh, regular screwdriver but i'm trying to make this quicker okay once those screws are out you can pull this assembly apart the fuse that is causing your problem is right here so you would pull that fuse back through and if you need to if you need extra room you can pull this apart but that fuse is right on the back of this. Replace that fuse, push the fuse back through the housing, and then put it flat back against where it was, just exactly like it was, reassemble the unit, screw it back together, your unit will work again.